Hi everybody, just going to help you out with this question in case you're stuck. So the trick is to read these extracts from the articles from this website and pick out the correct numbers and do some interpolation. So just in case you're interested, this is the website Cairo 7, an update on um, on uh, coronavirus in Washington State each day. Uh, where are we at here? Whoops. Oh, there we go. So there's the question. So the key numbers you, you, you were asked to get, uh, use interpolation to estimate the total number of cases of coronavirus reported for, uh, March 9th, right? So, um, March 9th, notice they reported the death toll, the amount of people that died in Washington state from coronavirus, but not the amount of cases recorded. Okay. So March 10th, cases recorded is 269. I hope you found that number. March 8th, cases recorded, the statewide totals increased to 123 people. So that case number is 123. So these are the two key numbers to find from the articles, 269 and 123, okay? And to do interpolation, we subtract to get the difference. So that's an increase of 176 um over the two days okay an increase of 176 cases over two days so that's an average increase an average increase of 73 cases per day so like 73 cases from march 8th to 9th and 73 cases to get from march 9th to march 10th and again that's an estimate there could have been um, like there could have been 100 cases from March 8th to 9th and 76 from March 9th to 10th, or there could have been six cases from March 8th to 9th and then 170 cases from March 9th to 10th. We don't know um, from this article at least, um, but our estimate is that there were 73 for March 8th to 9th and 73 again for March 9th to 10th. Okay, that's that's what interpolation means. So we take the 73, we add it to the total from March 8th to get 123 plus 73 equals 196. And so our answer is 196 cases is what we estimate for March 9th. So it goes 123 March 8th, 196 March 9th, and 269 March 10th. Okay. And um, just in case you're interested, here is what it would look like on a graph. It's approximately linear at the moment. If you look from, especially from March 8th to 16th, it looks like a straight line, doesn't it? And um, here's the March 9th. It's about 196 cases. So what we're doing is we're kind of guessing this dot here. This dot was not given to us. So um, it looked like uh, this, no dot, okay? So this is the data we were given. Um, and then we did interpolation and um, we made up this little dot here to go to go along with our trend. OK, so that's that's interpolation.